So in this video, I'll be showing you how to calculate the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons of ionic species, all right? In our previous class, we looked at how to get the number of electrons, protons, and neutrons for a neutral atom. So what about if I have an ion? Let's say something like chlorine having a negative here, and this is having 37 here, and then 17. Something of this nature. How do I get the number of electrons, protons, and neutrons for this species? Now, before you do this, there are some things to note. Note two things. The first thing is this. When atoms gain electron, they become negatively charged. Okay? Don't forget that, please. When atoms gain electrons, they become negatively charged. That's the first thing to note. The second thing to note is this. When atoms lose electrons, they become positively charged. Okay? So it's a simple concept. Atoms gain electrons to become negatively charged and lose electrons to become positively charged. Now, with that in mind, let's get this. So first things first, let's get the number of um, protons. Number of protons. Now, for this, for this case here, the number of protons, as we said, is equal to what I have here, this one here, which we said it's actually equal to what? The atomic number, okay? So, the number of protons is always this one here, which is your atomic number. So, in essence, for this, the number of protons is 17. That simple. Let's get the number of neutrons. Number of neutrons. Now, when it comes to finding the number of neutrons, simply look at this part here, this one here. And we said what we have here, this one here is called the mass number. And we said the mass number, which in this case is 35, is equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons. Now, if I already have number of protons as 17, it means that for this case here, my protons is 17 plus neutrons. To get the number of neutrons, I'll move this one over here. That becomes 35 minus 17. So I'm having 35 minus 17. It's equal to number of neutrons. If I do 35 minus 17, I will have my answer as 18. So in essence, I have 18 neutrons. So number of neutrons here is 18. Now, one final tax. Let's get the number of electrons. In getting the number of electrons, it's where it becomes a bit tricky. Now, first things first, what you do is this. Write out the atom you're given, all right, which is this. And for now, let us ignore let us ignore the sign attached. Now, don't forget that the sign attached here is actually a negative. All right. Okay. Number of electrons. All right. So let's not forget that the sign attached here is a negative. And we said when atoms gain electron, they become negatively charged. For now, we'll ignore the negative sign and just focus on for now, we would ignore the negative sign and just focus on the atom not even gaining um, any sign, right? That's just this, without any sign attached, right? So if there's no sign attached, what would be the number of electrons? In a case like this, where no negative is attached, would have that the number of electrons will be equal to um, number of protons, as we said. So number of protons will be equal to number of electrons in a case like this, where there's no charge. So if that's true, that means in a neutral case like this, the number of electrons will be equal to number of protons, which we have here as what there? 17. So we have this. Then again, look at the original question. There's a negative here. When an atom is negatively charged, what does it mean? We said it means that it has gained electron. So this minus means I'll be adding an electron, all right? Because the atom has gained electron. Now, if you look at minus, minus here is the same thing as minus 1. So that means this chlorine atom having in minus means this chlorine atom has gained one electron, right? So it becomes the number 17 plus that one there. 17 plus 1 gives you 18. So I have number of electrons here as 18. That's your answer. Let's take another example. Let's say we have something like magnesium, all right? M, magnesium here. And having this as, let's say, 12. And this as 24. Okay. What's number of electrons, number of protons, number of neutrons in this atom? Okay, let's add an ion there. Let's make it 2 plus. Okay, Mg2 plus, right. Let's get the number of protons. Number 
of protons here let's get the number of um, neutrons and then finally the number of electrons for this case now what would this be let's get number of protons first um, number of protons we said it's always equal to what I have here which is the atomic number so in this case number of protons is simply what I have here which is what 12 so it becomes number of protons is 12 okay what about the number of neutrons we said simply do protons plus neutrons is equal to this number here which is the mass number or the atomic mass so protons plus neutrons is equal to 24 we have the number of protons as 12 12 plus n is equal to 24 okay so from here let's get neutrons move this over here we have that the neutrons is equal to 24 minus 12 and that's equal to 12 so number of neutrons is 12 i have 12 neutrons finally let's get the number of electrons so what's the number of electrons here what do you do um we've said that in getting the number of electrons for ionic species it's a bit technical but how do you start i said to start this what you do is try to write out the nuclide symbol but this case do not attach any um sign right so i'm writing this here observe that i did not attach the two plus it's not here so in this case now what do you do record that we said for this case here we can say that magnesium is neutral and it's neutral because there's no positive or negative attached to this so we said for a neutral atom what happens for a neutral atoms number of protons is equal to number of electrons how many protons do we have here we have 12 protons that means in a neutral atom this should be what there 12 12 protons is equal to 12 electrons that means for a neutral atom um, this should be 12 electrons so we already have 12 electrons now coming back to this i'm seeing a 2 plus at this point now attach a 2 plus first things first observe that the sign here is positive now we said when an atom loses electron it becomes positively charged so positive means that this atom has lost electrons so that means i'll be subtracting some electrons here so subtract now how many electrons do i subtract observe that i have two here so it means i will subtract two electrons so two plus means the atom has lost two electrons so it becomes 12 minus 2 and that's 10 electrons so hence the number of electrons here is 10 so i have 10 electrons here so that's how we do this let's take two more examples and then we are done with this all right so two more examples uh let's take the first one here uh let's take something like potassium let's take potassium k all right having 19 39 and a plus here let's get the number of protons let me call this p so p is number of protons n is number of neutrons and e is number of electrons of course number of protons is as easy as the atomic number here which is what 19 number of protons is 19 number of neutrons n plus number of protons p will be equal to what i have here the mass number so in essence my mass number here is 39 now to get the value of n simply put the value of p number of protons as 19 plus number of neutrons is unknown is equal to 39 all right let's move so n here will be equal to move this man over here it becomes 39 minus 19 39 minus 19 gives you 20 that means the number of neutrons is actually 20 neutrons all right so i have 20 neutrons here one last task there one last task um our last task here our last task here would be to find the number of electrons and how do we find the number of electrons simple first things first we said let's repeat this one here potassium k 39 and then without the sign so without the sign i have this one here to be a neutral atom because there's no positive and no negative for a neutral atom we said number of protons is equal to number of electrons that means number of protons which is this 19 is equal to number of electrons 19 so in a neutral atom the number of electrons is 19 now let's impute the sign the sign here is a plus what does plus mean now we said plus when an atom is 
positively charged plus, it means it has what there? It has lost electron. So the plus here means it has lost electron. So I will subtract. When you have just a plus here, this plus here is something as plus one or one plus, right? So this means that it has lost just one electron. So if you have plus without any number attached to it, it means it's just one. If you have three plus, it means you have lost three electrons or the atom has lost three electrons, okay? So but if you have just plus here, it's one electron. So 19 minus one gives you what there? 18. Hence, the number of electrons here is 18. That's how we do this, okay? All right, so I hope this is clear, right? Um, I'll take just one more on the negative and then we'll see. So our final example for today's class, we have oxygen here, O. Oxygen here is 8, here is 16, and here is 2 minus. All right, so you have oxygen um, 16, 2 minus. So you have this. Now, what's the number of electrons, protons, and neutrons here? Let's get for... Um, number of protons, let me call this P, number of neutrons, let me call this N, number of electrons, let me call this E. Alright, for number of protons, we said it's simply equal to what there? The atomic number, which is simply 8, okay? For number of neutrons, we said protons plus neutrons is equal to what I have here, mass number, which is 16, okay? So it means that protons, number of protons, 8 plus number of neutrons, which is unknown, is equal to mass number 16. Move 8 over here, right? So we have that neutrons is equal to 16 minus 8. And 16 minus 8 gives us what there? 8. So number of neutrons is 8. Now one final task. Let's get number of electrons. How do we get number of electrons? Now that's simple. How do we start? Now I said your, your start should be rewrite the oxygen here. I'm giving this as 8. This are 16. Now, this is a neutral atom. What I have here is a neutral atom because there's no positive and there's no negative. For a neutral atom, we said number of protons is equal to what there? Number of electrons. So that means number of protons here, which is 8, is equal to number of electrons. So number of electrons here is 8. I have 8 electrons. Now, if you have this sign here or this um, ion here or this charge, the charge is 2 minus. First things first, I have eight electrons, okay? What does minus mean? We said when an atom is negatively charged, it means it has gained electrons. So minus means it has gained electrons. So I'll be adding some more electrons. How many electrons has it gained? We said two minus. That means it has added two or it has gained two more electrons. So eight plus two gives you what there? 10. So this becomes 10 electrons. Alright, so this is how you find the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons for um, ionic species. Alright, now I want to give you a task. So you have these tasks here. I'm giving you this for sodium, right? Na sodium, right? This is 11, this is 23, and this is plus. Now for this species here, tell me the number of electrons, the number of protons, and the number of neutrons that this species have leave the answer in the comment section all right and i'll tell you if you're correct or not all right so if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit the like button all right so like this video of course leave a comment tell us the number of electrons protons and neutrons in this particular species on the board this um sodium and finally don't forget to share this video to your friends so that they can also learn thank you and see you in our next class